Hi guys, Svetlana Sotag here, and today I'd like to show you how to make this lovely chubby tote bag. Now this is a beginner-friendly bag, and it finishes at just the right size to be used as a project bag, a shopper, or even a reusable gift bag. This chubby tote bag finishes at 11 inches wide by 11 inches tall by six inches deep. It's fully lined, and the addition of leather handles make for a super stylish, easy to assemble finished bag. All you need to make this bag are two half yards of fabric. I'm using cotton linen blend for my exterior of the bag, and I'm using duck canvas for the lining. You will also need a yard of medium weight fusible interfacing. I'm using Pelin SF101. You will also need two three quarter inches wide by 16 inches long leather handles. You will need a ruler, rotary cutter, and cutting mat, and you will also need fabric shears and a fabric marking pen. You will of course need standard sewing and pressing supplies as well. Press your fabric well and then use your cutting mat a ruler and a rotary cutter to cut out two exterior panels, two interfacing panels, and two lining panels. All the panels measure 18 inches wide by 15 inches tall. Fuse your interfacing to wrong sides of the exterior panels by working with one panel at a time. Place it right side down on the ironing board and bring one interfacing panel and place it sticky or this bumpy side down along the wrong side of the exterior panel like so. Smooth out all the edges and now bring the hot iron down and press it, hit it with a little bit of steam, lift it up and press it again. Make sure not to move your iron back and forth like that so you don't distort uh, the panels. Now my interfacing is attached to my exterior panel and I'll go ahead and do the same thing for my second exterior panel. Here are my two exterior panels with the interfacing adhered to the back side. Now, as you can see, I have no bubbles and puckers on the interfacing side. That's exactly what we are going for. And of course, all nice and smooth on the right side. Now bring your panels right sides together, like so. If you are using a directional print, make sure the top of your print is right here. So top up. Place the panels right sides together, like so. Smooth it out, making sure the side and bottom and top edges are all lined up. Now bring a ruler and your fabric marking pen right here. And we are going to draw a three inch square along both bottom corners right here. So again, to do that, you're just going to find a three inch mark on the ruler, one, two, three is right here, three is here. Line them up with these edges and draw the square like so. So here's the square we are going for and we'll do the same thing on the other side. And again, we are working with both exterior panels so we'll take our scissors now and cut through both panels, cutting along the lines, cutting out these uh, squares. And this is what our panels look like. Both exterior panels have these three inch corner cutouts. Now set these aside 
and we are going to follow exactly the same process to get our lining panels ready. I brought my exterior panels back because we will be working on assembling the exterior side of the bag. So place your two panels right sides together again, line up all the edges like so, and use pins or clips to hold the panels together. Now you only need to clip along the two side edges and the bottom edge. Top edge stays loose and open like so. So clip these together. I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch along the side edge, bottom edge, and again this side edge using half inch seam allowance back stitching at the beginning and end. Now that my panels are stitched together, it's time to press the seams open. And now open up your exterior panel, place your hand in a side in here and line up one side edge over the bottom edge. So they'll line up right here. Make sure both your seams stay open and use a clip or pin to hold them together. So line up the seams right here, clip it in place. This is quite a, a longer seam than usual, so I would add more clips. And I'll take it to my sewing machine and stitch along this edge, back stitching at the beginning and end using half inch seam allowance. But before I do that, I'll get my other corner ready. So again, place your hand inside, line up the seams like so, and clip. Okay, time to sew. Here's my assembled exterior panel, and I'm going to turn it right side out. All right, now this is what the exterior of your bag looks like at this point. It's nicely assembled. I'm gonna fold it up onto itself so I have a nice flat top edge and I will use a ruler to find the middle of my top edge. So the top is about 17 inches wide. So I will need to make a mark at eight and a half inches. So use your fabric marking pen and make a mark right here. And I'll make it on the second exterior panel as well. And I can also just fold it in half like so, pinch it here, just to make sure I measured correctly, and I did, here is my mark. And now I'm going to use a ruler to draw two marks, two and a half inches away from the middle point. So I will bring my ruler right here, and one, two, two and a half inches is here, and do two and a half inches here as well, on this side, on the right side. So I have my mark here and here, and there is five inches in between my two marks, okay? And the mark went from the middle, so there will be the same amount of fabric on both sides. Two, four, six inches on this side, and two, four, six inches on this side. So everything looks good. Now I sort of just lift up this panel and transfer the same marks right here, so I don't have to measure on the other side. Okay, and these are my mar markings for the letter handles. Here's my handle strip. I will place it right side down and form it into a loop like so. Make sure you don't twist your handle. Place it right in here. Line up with the raw edge 
and clip in place. And do the same here on the other side, like so. Turn it, and I'm going to attach the second handle following exactly the same instruction. So here are my two marks. This is my middle mark, two and a half inches points right here, and my inner edge of the handles goes along the mark, like so. Fold it up again and mark it here. Mark it here, place it, and clip it in place. Now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch along the edges right here, securing the handles in place using 1 8 inch seam allowance. And I will stitch back and forth a few times just to secure it in place. Now when I sew my handles in place, I wanna make sure I keep the bottom panel out of the way. So push it down a little bit, straighten up your handle. You want it to go at 90 degree angle to have it nice and straight. Remove the clip. I wanna make sure it's in the right place like so. And I'm going to stitch back and forth a few times. And as you can see, I'm sewing through the letter. My machine doesn't have any trouble sewing through that, but if yours does, just hand crank your machine. Also use a 9014 needle that will definitely help with the sewing through the letter. And here's what the panel looks like. At this point, my handle is attached to the exterior panel. All the seams are sewn, there are no holes in here. The handles are added to both sides. And I'm going to set this panel aside for a bit while I work on my lining and then we'll bring it back for the final assembly. So sewing the lining to together is super easy as we are going to follow exactly the same instructions as we did for the exterior of the bag. The only difference being that we will sew along the side edge, along the bottom edge, but here we will leave about a four or five inch opening right here, and then we'll sew along the other side edge. So I like to use my fabric marking pen and just mark where the hole in the opening, uh, the hole in the seam will be left right here, so I don't forget. So the way I will sew I will start right here, backstitch at the beginning end, sew right here, sew over here along this edge, this edge, along the bottom again, and stop right here. So I'll clip my panels together so they don't shift while I'm stitching. And again, just follow the same instructions as you did for the exterior to assemble it. So we'll do the side seams press and, bo and the bottom seam, press the seams open, and then stitch the gussets. And here's my finished lining panels. As you can see, my side seams are nicely stitched, back stitched at the beginning and end. I did my gussets right here, the corners, and I have an opening in the bottom seam, and this is the opening we will use for turning the bag right side out. So my lining stays right side in, and I'm gonna bring my exterior panel back, straighten it all up, and place my exterior gently inside the lining. So as I'm doing that, here is, as you can see, the right side or the finished side of the exterior and the lining are together. So raw seams are on inside and outside, not together. Line up the side seams like so shake it all in 
it helps to smooth it out. And now I'm going to line up the side edges. One side edge, clip it in place, and I'm going to do the other side edge as well, like so. Straighten up the seam. I want everything to line up as much as possible. We don't want any puckers along the edge, the top raw edge. Now here's my handle right here. I'm going to put a clip here because I want to make sure I pay attention to where the handle is when I'm sewing so I don't push it sideways and then the handle wouldn't be nice and straight inside the bag. So again, mark where my other handle is straighten everything up and if you used correct half inch seam allowance everything should match up perfectly here for you if not just give it a little tug and it should work and we'll do the same on the other side nice it's all nice and neat right here we are now going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch all the way around the top edge here, all the way around using half inch seam allowance back stitching when we get to the end. Now take the bag to your pressing board and press the seam open. Place your hand inside the lining through the hole that we left in the bottom seam and pull the exterior of your bag out. So be gentle so you don't rip any stitches and pull also the lining out like so and this is what your tote bag will look like at this point so we have our nice exterior of the bag the lining handles are attached in the middle like so and we still have the hole in the lining but we'll stitch that closed in the next step so tug on both panels it will help your seam in the middle to lie a little bit more flat and after you do that push the lining gently inside the exterior of the bag so push it in smooth out all the seams like so and it's now time to neaten up this top edge to do that, we want to line up the seams, roll the seam between your finger and your thumb to make it as crisp as possible and pin or clip the two layers together to make sure that they don't shift while we do our top stitching. Now the back, back top seam is neatly clipped, so we have both layers at, uh, being held together by the clips or pins. We are going to take the bag to the sewing machine and top stitch along the top edge using 1 8 inch seam allowance and then quarter inch seam allowance, so we'll do a double top stitching. Now I also found out it works best for me when I turn the bag lining side out, like so. I don't have to worry about things shifting because my clips are holding everything in place. Now, if you are using pins, be careful so you don't poke yourself. Turn it right side out, bring it to your sewing machine, and then you start stitching right here, which makes it super easy to do nice, neat top stitching along the bag.
My top stitching is now finished and all I need to do is stitch this opening in the lining closed. So as we press the seams open, when we smooth out the seam like so, the raw edges fall inside really nicely. So all we do is line them up over each other, clip to hold them in place. And I'm going to start stitching right here, back stitching at the beginning, stitching all the way along this hole, back stitching at the end, and I'm going to use 1 8 inch seam allowance. And make sure you don't catch your exterior in this seam. We are only sewing through the lining panel. And the hole is now neatly finished. All we need to do now is turn the bag right side out, like so. Push out all the corners to make them nice and neat. So you're pushing both the lining and the exterior out at the same time so they fit inside really neatly. As you can see, here is our lining. Here is the exterior and you can just give your bag one good press along the top and side seams to make them really nice and neat and you're all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and will love making your own chubby tote bags. Bye!